Good morning, happy friends, and happy Wednesday to you. It is hump day today, and it's about ooh, 20 after 10 in the morning. Days are getting shorter and cooler here in Essex in the United Kingdom. Um, we had some lovely rain this morning. I am a, a creature of the west coast of Canada, um, and I miss the rain. Um, in spite of, uh, I think, its reputation, Great Britain overall does not see a huge amount of rainfall compared to where I come from. <laughs> uh, although there are some places, um, the, the Northwest in particular where my partner is from gets quite a lot of rain. Uh, but not down here in Essex and the Southeast. It's very dry, quite arid in fact. So when you get a little bit of rain in the summertime after weeks of not having any, it's really nice. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. What is it like for you? Are you a are you a wet weather creature or do you like the desert? I think I definitely prefer um, the wet weather to to dry. Anyway, um, I will be doing two videos this week, um, so I will be doing the usual um, what's up uh, next week on the website and I'll be putting that in on Friday. But today, because I had the time and the energy and kind of a natural break in my day, uh, I thought I'd share a little bit of, um, my creative process and also talk a little bit about, um, my creative journey, um, from starting back up, um, Hancock's House of Happy again. So, this morning I was um, getting all my designs ready for posting for October. So I've got uh, my uh, half of my October designs are all finished and ready to go. And the way I initially started out, you know, a few months ago, three months ago, is I did a huge content calendar. So I planned out for every single weekday um, what was going to be on the website, right? What design is going to be on the website? And I started um, creating that content uh, from, you know, for August, September, I was into October. And today I had to go back and revisit um, one design that I did um, way back. This is like, I think it's like, might have been May, June. Um, that I'd actually I'd planned to release as the exclusive chart for Patreon and um, I looked at it and this is sort of for a Halloween October theme I looked at it and it was like oh my goodness that is absolutely awful because <laughs> I hadn't I hadn't I hadn't bothered to go back and look uh, again until just today when I had to make up all you know do all the mock-ups and everything and I looked at that and was like, you seriously did not consider putting that out as like your best work. It was absolutely terrible. So I thought, well, I could just discard it and come up with something else or I could see if I could salvage it. So I'm going to show you now, or over here actually, I'm going to show you now. Um, this is the original design, right? So what you've got there, and I'm just going to... Um, bring it up so I can like talk about it a little bit on um, on camera and um, so as you can see it's um, Frankenstein's monster um, don't get me started on that <laughs> and I, th I think the inspiration for this was actually a greeting card I saw which had sort of a more like kawaii um, Frankenstein on it and I just thought well that's kind of dumb because Frankenstein's monster is not cute right it's a horrible stitched together monster that's had some sort of elixir of life pumped into it right so you know it didn't really work for me but I thought it, for me because I have a dark sense of humor we kind of like be more funny if that were actually like the real sort of corpse like Frankenstein monster you know this sort of zombie like creature um, and uh, I did that design. I really struggled. I remember now struggling with that design because I couldn't get the text to work around the face. Um, so I ended up with a sort of circular design where I thought well, you could stitch that in a hoop um, 
and I'm looking at it right now and it's just um, it just it just looks so slapdash there's not a lot of design sensibility there the the words and the letters don't really match up there's no there's no real symmetry there um, it doesn't look complete I think that's what for me it was just like it just looks like it's not finished and I actually didn't when I came back to it like the sort of circular design so I started thinking about it and I think what I first decided to do is change the words um, because if you're stitching this for somebody and you give it to someone it's not like a readings card it's not like you're saying you you make me feel alive if you're stitching it for someone you want it to be or for yourself it's like um, it's like how you feel right so it should be an I something right so the first thing I changed or decided to change was the actual wording um, to something more uh, suitable and this is the sort of second um, stab at it so I got rid of all of the the words that were there um, I changed the wording so it's like so I feel so alive you know Frankenstein's monster is like oh, it's alive right um, so I got that far and like right away I liked it better I liked the words better I liked how they fit around the monster's face but it still looked really incomplete to me right and you, so you can see sort of off on the side there um, sort of little uh, uh, sort of a doohickey because I was then thinking about Frankenstein's monster, Dr. Frankenstein, um, you know, what could I add to that to speak to that sort of that theme? This sort of comes out of also my love of um, monster movies, sort of the campy um, hammer horror monster movies. Um, that I always remember watching on Halloween. We'd go trick-or-treating like really early and we'd come home and there'd always be some really dumb cheesy monster movie on like like Frankenstein or Dracula or you know something really dumb like that um, that wasn't that wasn't really scary even though I was like seven it was just looked also sort of fake in camp it didn't really didn't really scare scare me so that's sort of where I approach you know Halloween from it's not really figured large in my life but I have those memories of it so I was thinking about you know the lab because there's always that that sort of big panoramic shot of Frankenstein's lab with the monster in it and test tubes and elect electricity which um, wasn't really sort of Mary Shelley's um, narrative but I, so I started sort of playing around with these sort of um, I guess, like, I guess they're kind of like steampunky laboratory motifs. Um, so after that, I thought, well, it kind of needs a little bit of a of a frame because um, it just sort of feels like you know the monster is he's, he's just sort of sitting out there. I thought, what could I do with these like laboratory motifs that would sort of frame that um, and you know give it sort of a design? Uh, so. You know the next the next stage, the next stage I got to was um, this, which um, as you can see I've started to um, sort of frame in some of those um, laboratory motifs. I got the electricity in there. It's always in my head, um, the electricity in Frankenstein's lab is always like these blue, like shards of lightning coming off everything, you know, kind of like a Tesla coil. Um, so I got sort of the sides framed in. I was feeling happier about that, um, but it still needed something on the top and the bottom. So I sort of, you know, I sort of looked at some reference images for for laboratories. And um, I came up with this sort of joining those two sort of test tubes at the bottom together with this sort of copper tubing. I wanted that to be a copper coil, um, you know, like for distilling um, and doing distillates and things like that. I couldn't quite get it to work in cross stitch. So that's where sometimes the medium for me 
has limitations, but those limitations are great because it makes you more creative to work within those. Um, I probably could have done it successfully if I had wanted to do backstitching, but I made the conscious decision I didn't want to put backstitching in this design. I think possibly because I felt I'd wasted so much time on it already. <laughs> um, I didn't want to, you know, put too much more time into it. I wanted it just to get to a stage where I was like really, you know, more happy with the design than I was with the original. Um, so here you can see like a framed in all that still needs something on the top and then I started looking at it and it's on that sort of you know it's on that white neutral background and I've made this mistake before of um, putting a design on a white background that it doesn't suit the subject matter so Frankenstein Frankenstein's monster that's a really dark subject matter those films were like sort of they're you know they're black and white or they're sort of really old almost like color but with that sort of sepia cast over it sort of those really blown out colors but it should be dark so I thought well what if I put that on a black background and I discovered that if you're designing for a black background your design sensibility does have to be very different because all of a sudden the colors I've used um, that come out on the white don't work so good on the black so I was determined to make it work on the black background because I just thought that is far more suitable to the subject matter than having it on a white background so I will show you now the final design on black and you can see the difference um, that background makes so all of a sudden that design really like really pops out that green um, has that glow which I you know I wanted that to be sort of a eerie glowy lich light um, you know sort of horror horror movie lighting and the colors um, for some of those elements I had to change because they were too dark once you put that black background on it's like it's way it's way too dark so some of those colors got brightened up. Um, I think the electricity really, you know, that blue lighting, lightning electricity really pops out there. And um, I think just the black, the black background just does make that, it does make it come alive, you know. And, you know, the outline around the letters to make those pop out, but you still have that sort of dark green in the middle with that sort of slime dripping. Um, so, if you can see where I went from like this and I think I worked really hard on that initial design and it was right when I was starting up again I was still struggling with sort of detoxifying from my previous life um, trying to get back into being a creative person again and I think I worked really hard on that and I thought man so much effort it's awesome and then going back to it I look at some of the designs I've done since then um, and also some designs that I've done in the past and just just looked at that and was like oh my god that's just so half-assed right <laughs> um, to to this where I'm actually kind of really excited about this design now um, I don't know like what do you think um, are you gonna be excited to like download and stitch this um, my own feeling between the two is like so different from that's like my worst to this is like one of the best ones I've done in probably quite quite a while um, and all of this was designed um, in my design tool um, the text was um, done in um, Inkscape and then imported because that's um, I find that's an easier way to do fonts my cross stitch tool doesn't do um, fonts or like letters native in the app um, so but no I'm 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 really actually pleased with how this turned out and I'm so glad that I did spend the extra time to turn it into something that I'm actually proud to uh, put on the website and show people um, so there you go that's a little bit of my creative process um, 
my creative journey starting back up again and how much better I'm feeling now about what I'm designing again. Um, and this design will be uh, up on the website in October. The first week of October will be um, Halloween week, so there'll be kind of some, some spooky Halloween-y designs coming up there. So um, if you like these videos, um, you know, please give it a thumbs up if you want um, some similar stuff about my design process, creative process, um, rather than just the update videos, uh, let me know. And I shall see you all on Friday with an update. And until then, I hope you're having a great week. See you later. Bye.